Alright guys, so this video is going to be on um, a uh, uh, world tour. So I just started the video right here because I just want to show you that this was all made in survival mode. Uh, just in case any of you guys thought otherwise. Alright, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do a world tour. This uh, so world started as a solo world, but then my friend Mia and Josh joined. So... <laughs> I renamed it God's Plan. Okay, let's go ahead. I actually don't even know where I'm going to load into. The last video I did on this world was a house tour, and at that point, all I, all we had on, all we had like on the world was just the house. Oh, uh, but actually, oh yeah, okay. So I was working on just the backyard, I guess, just fixing this up, putting all sand. But uh, I guess I can do it later. So here's the back. I showed the house, but a lot of stuff has changed. It's the back, I guess. It's pretty new. All this stuff is old. It's the new stuff. There's the house, and I also made, um, I forgot what this is called. This lighthouse. Are you sure the lighthouse? Oh, I'll also show you more on the inside of my house. But yeah, this, um, I made this right after I finished my house, I think. This was, like, the second thing I made in the world. It didn't really take that long to make, or it took a couple hours, but it was pretty easy to make. You can see the rest of the world. But the nice, but the nice. Okay, I'll finish showing off my house, and then I'll show you Josh's house, Mia's house, and then that little thing over there all right so yeah this lighthouse probably took like two hours maybe my house when I took like well the actual house took didn't take that long maybe like an hour to make then all those like the furnishing and stuff on the inside probably took longer way longer all right so I can show you on um, Inside, it's pretty different. There used to be like a hallway right here, but then I just took it off. This is um, my room. a little bit different from the last time because we beat the Ender Dragon, got the egg, the Elytra, the Dragon Head. This is my old diamond armor. I got some new diamond armor. Pretty nice. My dog. Okay, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, and my other dog and my cat. Since Mia moved out, her room is kind of just empty right now. I'm just going to take all this stuff out, and I don't even know what I'm doing in this room, actually. This room used to be a storage room and furniture. I kind of made it into a little kitchen. I moved the storage room into the attic. And then this room is still empty, so I'm taking stuff out. And I can show you the storage room in the attic. It's pretty nice. We have like way too much storage. I have nothing in. Oh, okay. I guess I have some in the chest, but the rest of the chests are empty. Mostly empty because all this stuff is full. So we kind of have to move everything into that. With all these chests. This is all empty though. This stuff. This is the full one. This, we're starting to fill in some stuff in here. So yeah, that's the attic. And we go back into the basement. The basement actually didn't change that much. I don't think. I forgot about Still have the entrance of a room. And then the potion room definitely changed. We have a um, small little thing right here. This is uh, the AFK fish farm. If you know what that is. Oh, well, it's over a little pet. Um, right here. <coughs> basically the mm. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to do this in Chantel room. My brother's the one who showed me how to do it. But yeah, I'll be making one out right after this video. Solve our nether. And the mine is actually way different. I totally forgot. It used to be just like a normal strip mine, but then we just decided to just like go crazy and just destroy everything. 
We actually found a lot of diamonds because of it and because of the new pickaxe that I got. Okay, all this stuff. Most of these chests are empty. Like all of these ones are empty. Then we've filled up these chests. We have our nice little, I forgot what this is called, beacon. That has haste 2 on it, so you can mine super fast. I can actually show you how fast you'll be able to mine. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty insane. And then, over here, we have the rest of the mine. And this staircase, I don't know if I showed in the last um, tour, but we have our XP farm. We don't really use this thing anymore. We just get XP from the AFK fish farm. And then get back up. We actually haven't even played on this world that much. We kind of stopped after we made the Eiffel Tower. Alright, that's it for the basement. Just gonna go sleep real quick for this night time. And then I'll be able to show you, um, I guess I could show you Mia's house first. Alright, so we go out here. See the lighthouse again. We got a huge mob spawner. The, it doesn't really give you that much XP. But, um, yeah, still mob spawner. We have a path out here. And Mia made this little bridge to her house. That was pretty nice. Uh, she kind of hasn't put anything on the inside, I don't think, yet. This nice little pool. This. Yeah, okay. And then the inside. It's her bedroom. I don't even know if she has any chests. Kind of stuff. She has paintings. This is her bedroom. She got her dog over here. Oh, this is Oreo. She hasn't put a name tag on it yet, though. Oh dang, she had paintings. Okay, I didn't realize. She had this thing. I hasn't done anything with the second floor yet. I don't know if she has any plans to do anything with it though. And her storage room. I think it's kind of empty. Oh, she got some stuff in there. Alright, I guess that's kind of it for, um, yeah, that's it for her house. She actually has a balcony out here. Pretty nice view, actually. She's got another balcony over here, which has a better view. See the Eiffel Tower, our village that we kind of destroyed. Beacon right there, and a nice bridge, and then <laughs> the freaking creeper in the lighthouse. Okay. Now we could go check out Josh's house. Actually, we could check out the mob spawner. Oh, actually, has some mobs. So yeah, this thing doesn't really spawn too much. You have to. We actually got a lot of stuff in it, but the only way it works is you have to go like all the way up here and then just wait up there for like two minutes, and then you come down and there's a bunch of mobs. I don't know why they spawn so much whenever you're up there, but it gives you like I guess five XP every time you do it. It's okay. Then we can move on to Josh's house. Nice little bridge. I mean, I made a bridge too over there at Josh's house, but I think Mia's bridge is better. Got our pathway. See the front of my house. I got Josh's house right here. Um, what does Josh have? Josh has. See. Oh yeah, she, he has that um, farm right there. Got a nice little viral pathway up here. For his house. House. Oh, poor dog. <laughs> he hasn't seen his owner in like, I don't know how long it's been since he played on here, but it's been a long time. His bedroom, I guess. Oh, the spiral staircase into his storage room. Oh no, okay, um, I don't know what's happening there. We got his automated farm, which doesn't, doesn't grow anything right now. Yeah, it's pretty cool. He's got a 
that. He's got his um his pet llama that he stole from a wandering villager. Yeah, it's basically his house. Let's get a better view. Oh yeah, this is the bridge I made. Yeah, it's his house. Oh wait, yeah, he's got another automated farm. Oh yeah, he's got a pole too. He's got a farm right here. Nice little sugarcane farm. Got a lot of sugarcane in that. Alright, guys, it's Eiffel Tower at the time. Oh no, we got this little island hangout area that he made for nice for campfire. Yeah, alright. Let's move on from here. Okay, now it's Eiffel Tower time. So this thing. Oh my god. This thing took forever to make. It took about three days, I guess. We weren't, like, working on it for all three days. Like, we took a bunch of breaks. Because it took a long time. We mostly made it out of stone, as you can see if you go a little closer. And the stone bricks, which also made out of stone. See the stone? We had to get a lot of the stone from the mine. But we already had a bunch of stone in the chest, so we just had to bring them up here into these chests. I'm pretty sure we saw some. Yeah, we saw cobblestone left over. We had so much stone down there in the mine. And cobblestone. And we made these furnaces to fit the cobblestone. And yeah, here it is. The best view is from down there, but then we could also. I made um, ladders to go up it. So I can show you that. Um, okay. I should have painted this on top. So yeah, all, all three of us were working on this one. I don't know when we started actually. It was sometime in July. Of course. So I think it's like about oh I forgot how tall it was. But it's pretty tall. I think all of us at least died once trying to build this. I mean I might have died like six times or something. <laughs> I don't even know. Josh actually had a freaking feather falling three woods the whole entire time, so whenever he fell off whenever he fell off like lower to the bottom, he would always survive. So I don't even know if he died. Kinda forgot. Oh yeah, okay. You can see the bunch of fog. You can't even see my house or Mia's house, you just see Josh's house, but we can still go up more. Onto the flag. This is the view. Can't really see anything. Mostly just fog. Uh, yeah, that's the Apple Tower. I wish I could just jump off of this into some water, but sadly not. I could have brought my elytra out here, but I totally forgot. Uh, okay. We don't really know what we're gonna build next. I was thinking about building Golden Gate Bridge, like right here. But I don't even know. I've just most I've stopped playing Minecraft, so I don't even know if I'll be doing that. The last project that I was doing was my backyard, just doing all that um, terraining. We're also thinking about doing a gift shop. I think that was Mia's idea. Doing a gift shop on this level. It's a pretty good view too. You can actually see all the houses from up here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a better view. See everything. Oh, frick. We have to light this up so much because a bunch of freaking mobs would spawn here. I actually took super long just to get this flat land. 
So yeah, I think that's the end of the world tour. Um, after this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make the redstone so I said the rest of enchantment table room because someone mentioned it in the comments and it's pretty easy I could probably just go into my creative world should I do that oh we also have this thing this conduit power thingy very nice lets you breathe underwater and also gives you it's like a 90 block radius we have another one over there for the ocean So yeah, I'll show you that enchanted table room. So yeah, if you want to learn how to make this thing, I'm making a video on that too. I actually don't even know if I should go to the backyard. I should have in the other house store, I guess. Alright, so that's in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my world tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah.